welcome to part 4 of Dynasty Warriors 5 Extreme Legends, and today we're going to be going to Mount Ding Jun, and now for the actual cutscene. The Battle of Heifei ended in victory for Wei. With the strength of Wu diminished, I was sent to Mount Ding Jun to fight against Shu. The land was now divided into three. Shu, led by Liu Bei, Wu, led by Sun Quan, and Wei, led by Cao Cao. It is believed that one of these men will eventually conquer all the land. It's hard to tell what the future holds. However, my purpose remains unaffected as long as I serve Wei. I am to destroy my enemies and win my battle. Heng Dei, I am convinced of your skills and of your loyalty to me. I shall rely on you and your twin helpers to bring us glory in future battles as well. Our forces will hereby engage Liu Bei at Mount Dingjun. Since Mount Tiandang is already in their hands, this battle will determine who will ultimately control Guanzhan. I will lead the frontal defense of Mount Dingjun to Shaohuan Yuan and his men. I want you to engage any enemy units that approach from the sides. If you see an opportunity to infiltrate their camp, go straight for Liu Bei's head. Alright folks, Mount Ding Jun has never been easy in the Dynasty Warriors games, and now this is no different. This is a daunting task for Peng Da, considering the fact that he is pretty much outnumbered and oh yeah, Shao Ho Yuan is going to die in the cutscene. Nothing you can do to avoid that except for to probably beat Hua Zhang. But one thing is perfectly clear. The main camp cannot be taken until Cao Cao shows up. And even then, Cao Cao cannot be defeated. So, with that said, you're gonna have to off a lot of officers. Almost every officer except for Liu Bei until Cao Cao arrives. And you have to do this on hard, meaning you're going to have to have high attack and high defense in order to survive this, especially Huang Zong. So on that note, let's get started. Excuse me, General, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, just returning a greeting? Yeah! <laughs> Anytime, pal. So, shall we get started then? So, this battle starts with us being completely surrounded. By the way, when you hear that theme, that means you're losing. Sometimes that happens when you've messed up badly, other times when events happen that turns the tables on the officers happen, you will be hearing it a lot. It's still a good theme, don't get me wrong. Oh god, they actually broke my... Deadlock. Oh, that's not cool. And it almost came to a point that at this I stage, I almost lost my, uh... I almost lost my bodyguard, and I don't want to do that. Oh, no. Because no. my bodyguard will allow me to end up picking up weapon. Oh, nice. The enemy infringes in fear before Pang Day. We at least got ourselves a loose out gauge. And... Dead. But what you really need is actually to be at a higher level, or at least the highest level possible, and then have enough um, stats in order for you to survive the <clears throat> officers that's going to be coming near you. Because here's the thing you're supposed to go to them and nail every officer and get rid of them because. Uh, Liu Bei is going to send them in droves. Once you get rid of every officer, Cao Cao will show up. Well, by the time you get rid of every officer, Cao Cao will show up. But here's the thing. If you get rid of all the officers before Cao Cao shows up... <clears throat> oh, ouch! Ah, damn. I can't have that happen. Not without retaliation, of course. I won't lose a second time. The enemy and there goes Ming Da. But anyway... <clears throat> It's not over if you beat all the officers before Cao Cao appears, you will end up uh, 
getting the weapon. I think it's somewhere. I, I, I'll have its location in the description below. I'll make sure I have their location there. And I'm pretty sure there was like something else here too. Oh right, I think there was an orb here too, but you have to play a South Sour or something like that. Oh, and I'm pretty sure it had something to do with preventing the death of Shao Yuan. <clears throat> I'll check up on that. If there was an orb here, I'll make sure I put it in the description below. But the whole point about this battle is, you gotta make sure that your guys are still standing, and you gotta make sure that you are actually the one that is not only full of health, but also you're the only one killing everything because I do believe somebody has a, uh, I'm guessing it was, uh, Zhao Yun or someone along the lines of that, but I'm pretty sure someone has the, um, <clears throat> dim sum. So you might want to kill all the enemy officers so that way you will have dim sum. Oh, and for the record, you also will have to kill all the officers in order to get the uh, Celeste, the, the uh, not Celeste weapon, it's the fourth weapon. God damn, I'm thinking of Final Fantasy X. But anyway, since we went there and captured the base, that should slow them down a little bit. I don't think so, but I'll try at least. Now, <clears throat> all of these officers the generic ones and also the regular officers are gonna come in with high morale so chopping down their soldiers and also using Musa rage medallions is the best way to actually win this entire battle and oh yes that free charge definitely Definitely is helpful. Where's that medallion? I need it. I need it for later. I need it for later because now that I stop and think about it, Hua Zhang's a thing. Now, before anybody asked, no, I wasn't frustrated or angry. I'm just saying Hua Zhang is actually hard in this battle. If anyone you might want to be wary of, it's him. <coughs> Especially if he kills um, Xiao Doom. I mean, Xiao Yuan, sorry. Wrong character, but he kills Shaho Yuan. All bets are off. He'll have high morale. He will basically be rallying. And on top of that, when he's about to die, he's going to do just like Gan Ning did in the previous part and activate a rage medallion. Like I said, rage medallions are not just exclusive to you. And by the way, the only reason why Huang Zong will have a Rage Medallion is because of the fact that we are chopping down his health. Oh, and for the record. Oh god, I just realized. You have Xiao Yun and Wei Yan to deal with. While Xiao Yun may be straightforward and you could just attack him at any time, Wei Yan is a different story. He's a beast in this game and you do not want to fight him. But you'll end up fighting him anyway. <clears throat> I mean, it's part of the prerequisites. Once you take care of the remaining four and Sao Sao comes in to save you, again, you'll get your reward. But for now, let's focus on getting rid of the enemy officers that have to be under Xiao Yun, so that way that'll also count towards our um, level 4 weapon. And god damn it! You have to be the one to kill them, not your bodyguard. It doesn't count if your bodyguard or enemy off no allied officers kill them. Ah, I certainly can use that. You rookies, oh no. No, 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 no. He's heading out. We're gonna have to kill him. We gotta kill him. No! He's heading for. Turn around, you fool! He's heading for Xiao Yuan from a far off distance! No!
not bad, old man. I suppose I can let you win, just this once. Dear enemy, you were an excellent warrior. However, every time you insulted me, it only served to make me stronger. And things are about to go downhill. Oh, crap. Just when I was trying to get the morale back. Well, I have a rage medallion and I'm going to use it. Now, where is Quazong? Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, and Guan Ping's here too. Oh, that's not good. Foolish well, child. Did you think you were any match for the great It's time Wang for Zhong? us to fight off against Dong hey, Huang Shang, sorry. It was a Dong Shua. Wrong person. No, that's gonna be Monday. <laughs> anyway. Um I will say this though. I miss having duels. Because in Dynasty Warriors 4, you see a cutscene like that, you're gonna have a duel. Bar none, plain and simple. And that's like a duel to the death. Or to your death, anyway. Oh, well, let's not hop behind the horse here. And we got... Oh, God. Wan Zong's behind me. He was trying to kill me. I can't have that. And Zushu is down. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. No, 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 no. No, what was it that Guan Ping dropped? I might have picked it up, probably. Fully prepared to fight to the death. Oh, and he's actually uh, used the Rage Musa Medallion. Not cool. And by the way, Lu Bu can do this too. Just thought I'd point this out to you. The main camp isn't going to hold much longer. That's not good. And more importantly, the main camp is under attack. We have to finish off Huazong. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Huazong was the one that had the life up. Ah, oh, damn it. And we still... Oh, and we just failed. Hang Day held out till the very end. I wish all new recruits were so loyal. We were enemies for so long. But you turned out to be one of our best allies. Good well, Sao Sao just showed up, but what I was saying was we felt the prerequisite if this was on hard. Because the prerequisite was to kill everybody by the time Sao Sao showed up. Except for Liu Bei. Except for Liu Bei. But, um... Once Sao Sao showed up... Well... That was time's up. And by the way, that happens... I think 10 minutes into the fight. And this is a 60-minute battle, by the way. Enemy formation is crumbling. Forward! And I'm pretty sure Zhao Yun's somewhere around this area. In fact... Oh, wait, no, that's not Zhao Yun. Wei Yan's also here, too. He took the base that I took! There was a reason I took that base. And that base, w you know, and that base was actually gonna heal me after I get my behind kicked by... Well, Wei Yan. So, uh... And now the condition has changed, too, since South South's here. South South's now the main commander, and if something happens to South South, well, guess what? Oh, oh, god damn it! Now South South's de defeating everyone in the rampage. This to us. <sighs> oh no. And now Xiao Yun is into the fray. That's okay. We're still gonna win. I mean, we failed the objective for to get the um, level four weapon, but still, we can actually beat the rest of this stage. I mean, it would also help that if I had some health, 
That would be real nice right about now. But I think I got rid of Wei Yan. There we go. And he didn't drop anything! Well, that was a cheap escape move. I mean, damn. Oh, wait, no, he did drop something. Never mind. Oh, and now Liu Bei is moving out. We better go save South South first. After all, we need to we stop uh, Zhao Yun from actually beating Cao Cao. But from the looks of it, I think, um, or am I going to just take a base? So that way I'll be able to uh, get myself some free supplies. That way when I take a beat down, I won't have to worry about being killed. But the moment South South showed up, well, I think the battle of has definitely turned in our favor you think you could for some reason even though we have less people than they do and even the song hasn't changed really well that takes care of the base there and South South occupied the central base oh that's just great Well, we gotta go over and help South South. Hey, hey, why am I running around like a duck? Oh, I think I know what I was looking for. I was looking for life. Because, well, look at my health! I can't face Liu Bei like this! I'll be killed! And then I also found all of these stashes here. There's stashes that'll give you weapons, and stashes that'll heal. That's what I was looking for, by the way. Normally it would be in the base, but unfortunately not so much. So on that note, we're going to be going after Liu Bei, and I think Cao Cao may have done in Zhao Yun. I might not be sure. No, I think he did. Hey, hey, what? They're just catching. They're just capturing bases, man. And look at Liu Bei. Liu Bei's got two freaking bars. Two bars, man! That's just unprecedented! That's insanitized! But, whatever the case, you need to come up with some buffs so that way you'll be able to chip down Liu Bei's health, or more importantly, come in with a Musou um, medallion. And I got cut again. Ooh! Or should I say, I lost my Musou again. Yeah, I'm tired of getting cheap shotted. Ooh. Ooh, look at my health. That's not good. We're just gonna keep chopping away and chopping away until we actually get Liu Bei down. Alright, there we go. There we go. Let's keep on proceeding to. Uh, not, oh god, not again! No! There is a good bit of news. At least Liu Bei didn't heal. But that's okay. We got him. And we got him right where we want him. Liu Bei is finished. As long as the people are suffering, I'm pretty sure Xiao Yun was defeated by Cao Cao. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We stopped the threat of Mount Dong Yun. And at the process, we lost Xiao Yuan. Oh well. I have defeated Liu Bei and defended Han Zhang, but at the cost of one of my most valuable officers. I wish you pleasant travels in the afterlife, Xiao Yuan. <laughs> He wouldn't want me grieving for him. I must look to the heavens. I shall crush you and swallow Wu, building a land under the complete rule of Wei. So let's check out our spoils of war. We got something new, a charge. Oh wait, no, we don't actually have nothing new, actually. 
But what I do have is level 10. Okay, that is good. Something has got to go. Let's see. Let's get rid of the sturdy help right here. Let's remove that. I'll change up my weapon. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I've gotten two in power at least. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Dynasty Warriors. This will be the end of the Musou mode for Pangda. We'll be taking on Fawn Castle as the finale. And then from there, it'll be free mode. See you guys next time.